Hey guys, um, if you're wondering why this is just a still image, um, the first part of this video didn't save, so, um, yeah, basically we're just gonna be reviewing the FNAF craftable figure little thingies, um, here's just the, just the layout of all the box art and stuff, and then we'll just get straight into reviewing the individual figures, but... Yeah, I don't know what happened, but it just kind of vanished, so I guess this is what you guys are going to have to do with. Um, the rest of the video is safe, though, so that's that's cool. Um, but yeah, just um, take this image right here as um, my section of the video showing off the box, because I, cause I accidentally, like, didn't, that didn't save. So, yeah, just get on, review Glamrock Freddy's little craftable figure first. Yeah, so these figures don't hold together the best. They're prone to breaking. Um, not breaking, but like, just like falling apart easily. They go back together just as easily though. As you can see here, we have Freddy, who is looking, um... Not like the box, but... You know, at least the sculpt is the same. He looks alright-ish. There is not quite enough detail on him at all, but, you know, he's decent enough, I guess, and I do like how this looks overall. Um, the palm tree is a nice touch. Overall, he's not too bad. Based, uh, I expect the same thing from those danglers they also revealed. I'm also going to be reviewing those once I can get my hands on them, but, yeah, here's the craftable Freddy. And, honestly, I think he looks fine. He's pretty goofy looking, and I, I like it. These are just cheap little things. Actually, no, these are $10 each. So for the price, these are absolutely disgustingly overpriced. But like, it doesn't like offend me. Like if you don't want them, then just don't buy them. If you do want them for some reason, these are gonna sell terribly. Like um, the, these, are, these aren't even that much better than the danglers. They're the same size. They just don't have a keychain. They have a base instead, so. I don't really see any good reason to why people would buy these over those, since those also have, like, key, those are the same figures, and they're also, like, half the price. But, you know, I guess these exist, and they're alright enough, I guess. The paint jobs definitely shouldn't have been slacked on for that price, though. And, yeah, um, can't wait for those danglers to come out, though. I want them, but... Yeah, let's see the next next one. Next up, we have Monty, who is my favorite one in the set. So, this whole wave is just kind of the same thing as those Dangler figures that they showed a while back that they aren't out yet. But, yeah, same deal as Freddy. Just him on a base with the palm tree. His palm tree on mine doesn't quite stay in right. Probably isn't the same for all of them. It does look pretty warped down there. But it's nothing that a little bit of glue can't fix, so not really that mad about that. Um, you can see the paint job is very bland um, all around. Although his, he does look pretty nice around the face area. I will admit the sculpt is quite good. Although his head is gargantuan, like hilariously huge. But I kind of love it. You can see his little his shades on. No golden on the shades, but that's not a big deal. That's actually orange on the box, but, like, you get the idea. And his mohawk is sculpted very nicely. Honestly, way better than Funko's mold. And then if we lift up his shades, you can see he does actually have eyes under there. Um, let me just get a good angle of this. He's got these little tiny beady eyes, and I think it's really funny. Um, they really didn't have to do that. I'm shocked they did, considering how lazy they are with the paint on these. But I'm not complaining. That is hilarious. So, yeah, honestly, probably the best one in this whole set, just because... <laughs> I he looks so stupid. I love him. But yeah, there's Monty. Um, this, this is great. Next up, we got Roxanne Wolf, who has a big, two big speakers with her. And, um, paint job is much worse than it was on the box. Most of the details are not there including her pants um 
take that as you will, they did not give her pants. I I question it too. Why does my vent do? Why my vent so loud? Whatever. Um, she also doesn't have a tail. That's another detail that they forgot. But she does have her hair, and it is sculpted quite accurately. I do like how the hair looks. The face is overall not too bad. It's goofy like Freddy's, and I don't really mind the goofy look. The sculpt is overall decent enough. It would be nice with some paint, more paint, but like the keytar looks all right. Overall, this a, this is probably the worst one in the set, but it's not overly bad. I'd say like this could be a lot worse that being said it's not very good it's pretty heavy though because of the big speakers now we got Glamrock Chica who looks um that side profile but really <laughs> I don't think this one's too bad this has a bit more paint detail than the other ones she has green wristbands instead of green, like, fingerless gloves, which I find is pretty weird. But, you know, the way her hands are on the guitar looks nice. The guitar is star-shaped, how it should be, unlike what Funko did, which is pretty nice, I, I guess. Um, the detail is all right, I guess. It looks pretty all right, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Not a big fan of this one. They gave the little streak things on both sides and didn't paint them on either, even though she's only supposed to have it on one side. So that's nice. The hair looks good though. I like how the hair looks. The eyes look, I like how they did the eyelashes, I guess. Uh, the pupils don't have any detail though, but the earrings are there and they look pretty nice. And the pose on this one is actually my favorite. I like how the pose on this one looks. The poses on all of these are pretty nice, but Chica's specifically, I do think looks very nice. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about this one. This one's pretty all right. Better than Foco's eyes, definitely. But the rest of it is just kind of, just kind of meh. Then next up, we have the 1 in 24 Chase figure, Vanny, who is looking epic as always. Um, Vanny looks pretty decent here. There is not nearly enough paint on the body, though. This is a pretty lazy looking figure. The bow tie is painted though. I was kind of worried they were gonna slack on that since it's facing away from where you're supposed to look at it from, but they did not slack on that. It is painted. And the sculpt on the body overall looks pretty nice. I like how it's stylized. I like how it's how the posing is done. The way the head is positioned is a little weird. I would have preferred it if, she, if it was like this way and then she was looking towards the camera because it looks a little off when you're looking at it like from the back but you know it's all right it's got this tiled floor which looks all right doesn't fit with the other bases but whatever and then the face looks it looks a lot like Funko's figure honestly not um which is something that their other Vanny figures did not have Spe um mainly just the squishy and the um the freaking slime capsule did not look like Funko's figure. This looks almost exactly like Funko's figure, which just, just to let you know, isn't a good thing. We don't want it to look like Funko's Vanny because that figure looks terrible, at least in the face. And um, yeah, overall, this is all right. Um, she's kind of falling out right now, but yeah. And then you can see the little wet floor sign has the Security Reach logo etched into it, which does look pretty nice. Would have been nice if it was outlined, but we know they're not going to do that. So, yeah, there's Vanny. Vanny is also glow in the dark, so let's get her charged up with the black light here. And now, um, might as well show you guys how these guys react to the black light. Not very much black light reactiveness on them, but Vanny's the one that matters. Let's turn this off. And we can see that she glows really well, actually. Like, extremely well. This is a very nice glow. Um, it's not charged at the back, so obviously that's not gonna look as good, but yeah, this figure does look very nice in the dark. It does glow very well, which is a good thing. I'm glad they did that. It could have just not glowed at all, and they could have lied, but it, they didn't. It does glow, which is very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
And then the four common figures do combine into this one big display, which looks pretty decent. They don't like click onto each other or anything. They just kind of slide into place, but they look pretty nice when they're all together. I now own all Just Toys Security Reach merchandise released so far, and I do not plan on slacking. I will get this entire toy line. So far, it's pretty ballin'. Not gonna lie, this kind of slaps. Um, very cheap stuff from Just Toys, but honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't hate it too much, unlike most people who despise this, rightfully so. They have very good reason to hate this.